is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Uh, this is the collaboration. I am the best. Actually, Grace and Beth is the same person. <laughs> I have my own channel also. Please subscribe it. It's on the. Please subscribe it. Uh, in YouTube description, there is my channel site. Yes, we're going to read the Bible story. Did it? I'm sorry. <laughs> we're going to read Joshua. Joshua was born when he became the fifth, fifth king. Moses sent out. Twelve men, as the Lord commanded from the desert of Para, of explore the land of Kenya. They were all tribal leaders of Israel, and Joshua was one of them. Her explosion, the land of forty days, the man. Turn to Moses, Aaron, and the people of Israel at Kadesh in the wilderness of Par. So, before they are going to the promised land, Moses sent twelve spies, and there were Joshua also. This was the report to Moses, and it arrived at, in the land you sent us to see, and it is indeed a magnificent land flowing with milk and honey, but the people living there was powerful, and their chains of stones were fortified and very large. But Caleb, Caleb and Joshua tried to insert the people as the stood before Moses. Let's go at once and to take the land. We can quickly quit it, but the other men who had explored the land would answer, We can't go up against them. They're so strong. Yeah, we are. So the, the spies has gone to the land. But the land was so good. There were the land was so good. They had a great land and waters, all things. But the people of the land was so big, and they were very powerful, and they were very tall. Then Moses became all. The Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, son of Nun, a man and who is the spirit, and lay your hand on him, pressed him to Eliza. So, but Joshua and Gallup said, We can win with God's help. Present him to Eliza, the priest before, who will communicate all public commission. He will, 
him with the responsibility of reading the people. Tara, you're unnoisy to him, so the whole community of Israelites Israel will obey him. Moses did as the Lord commanded him. After the death of Moses, uh, the land, God, Lord's servant of Lord, spoke to Joseph, Joshua, son of Nun. Moses asked, "Be strong and courage, you, for you will lead my people to pass." Possess all the land I sure to give their aunt. They was very strong and fertile country called Jericho of the land of Kenya. So God said to Joshua that he will let the people to the land, promised land with God's help. The Lord of Joshua. The Lord of, uh, the Lord said to Joshua, "I have given you Jericho, its king, on all its mighty warriors. You enter army." Is to march around the city once a day for six days. Seven priests will walk ahead of the ark, each carrying the ram horn. horn. On the seventh day, you are to march around the city seven times with. People, priests, sing belong the horns of this for the six days. The ark of the Lord will carry around the city with the entry army one per per day, and then even return to spend the night in the camp. So they marched around the wall. On the seventh day, the Israelites got up and draw the mar and marched the city as they had done before. But this time, they went around the city seven times. This. Seventh time around, as the priests shouted the long blast on their horns, Joshua commanded the people, "Shout for the Lord! He have given our the city." When the people heard the sound of horns, they shouted. As long as they could, suddenly the wall of Jericho fell, and the Israelites charged straight into the city from every side of Cap and captured it. Joshua commanded to the people, "Everything made for silver, gold, bronze." Or arrows is sacrificed to the Lord, and must be bought until the thirty. They dove the city, the Lord, and destroy with the sword every living thing in it. The Lord was with Joshua, and his fame spread south to the land. After several years, Joshua took control of the entrance land of Kenya.
just a goddess. The God, the Lord has the gift Moses, and he have given to the people of Israel. Then the family he rest from war. Yesterday we read the Bible story. Did it enjoy? The next time we'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.